Hi everyone, I'm going to try to make this a fast review because I don't particularly like this product anyway and I don't want to dwell on something that I don't like. But this is the L'Oreal Paris Hair Expertise. It's new. It's called the Everstrong Sulfate Free Fortify System. This is the bodifying shampoo, not the um, conditioner, but the shampoo. Um, I hope you can read all that. And I'll certainly put the information and what it's all called and everything below if I got if I just read that too fast. So basically, this is a shampoo that, oh, it smells like rosemary and juniper, by the way, which is not my favorite smell in the world. But um, it's sulfate-free. It contains a patented bioceramide complex, cer ceramide. I don't even know if I said that right. Sorry. And I know this, oh, okay, it's got the bioceramide complex. It's 100% sulfate-free. It's got no harsh salts. It's, um, na it's made from natural botanicals, and it's 100% vegan. So all you vegans out there can use this. It's safe. Um, it's supposed to strengthen and add body. Um, I think it did add body. Here's the thing. This is the first like paraben, sulfate free, all bad stuff free, totally vegan shampoo I've ever used um, in my hair and I didn't know what to expect but you know I figured oh it's supposed to make your hair stronger and it's supposed to volumize your hair and blah 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 so I figured why not I would just try it and I think I got it on sale at CVS or something it wasn't that cheap but it was cheaper than it was originally priced so I decided to try it and so the first time I used it I used it after I had already shampooed my day the, the, my hair the day before so my hair was still already kind of clean um, and I used it and it was fine and I noticed hey my hair does have some body to it, it does have some volume that's nice um, and then I used it again the same conditions I had used it kind of the day after I had already washed my hair so it was still kind of already clean and then later I used it when I hadn't washed my hair for at least two days yeah for about two days it had you know it had been a couple of days since I'd washed my hair and um, I used this and I noticed my hair kind of felt funny like it was dry but it didn't really feel like it was washed and that kind of unnerved me a little bit. So now I'm thinking, well, crap. I've used this before and it's, you know, washed my hair. So maybe I just didn't lather well enough or something, you know? Like, now I'm getting kind of paranoid about my, my hair washing technique um, or routine, whatever. And so I'm getting a little paranoid. I'm like, well, you know, no big deal. I tied my hair up and it still looked fine. Nobody would know that it was, you know, it wasn't washed looking um, and then I did it again a few more times and I started to realize that this really only did well if my hair was already clean well okay apart from the fact that it's sulfate free apart from the fact that it's supposed to botify my hair first and foremost it's a shampoo which basically means it's supposed to clean my hair right that's to me what a shampoo means that's what a shampoo is a shampoo cleans so this can't clean unless your hair is already clean that's what my conclusion is from using this product. Well, that doesn't make any sense because if this is a shampoo and it's already supposed to clean, it shouldn't need the help of something else shampooing your hair first. That doesn't make any sense. So, as you can tell, this is going to be a negative review. I already don't like this because it doesn't wash my hair. Um, I, I'm sure that for those of you who um, have used sulfate-free shampoos, maybe you've either noticed this about other shampoos, or maybe you've, through trial and error, found the shampoos that do work better. I don't really know. Maybe this is just a really bad one. Like I said, this is the first one I've ever used. I don't plan on ever using another one again unless I read more reviews about it and get more information. When I went to makeabally.com to try and get kind of like a, a, a review, or not a review, but um, sort of get like an idea of how it was going to work, um, oh, excuse me, I have to adjust. Oh, can you see me? I don't know. Um, there. So, I tried to, I tried to look up reviews of this to see if it worked, whatever, and it didn't have, nobody had reviews up of this one. They had reviews up of, they have this one that's ever strong, and they have another one called something else strong or strong wear or something. I think that one's for, for dyed hair or treated hair. So I was like, well, I don't have treated hair, so that's not going to work for me. So I decided to use this, and I did it without knowing anything about it or hearing anything about it, and I regret it. Um, so, like I said, it does add body to your hair. 
Um, it doesn't have all that stuff that's supposed to be bad for your hair, but it doesn't wash your hair, which in a sense to me makes it pretty much ineffective. It makes the whole product moot. It doesn't work. And in my opinion, if it's bodifying your hair but it's not washing it, then isn't it really just like moving around dirt? So pretty much it's bodifying your hair with dirt, right? I mean, like that's that's what it's doing, right? I mean, I don't really know. I don't really know what the deal is with this thing. It just really infuriated me. And as you can see from the bottle, okay, so the bottle's really slick already, but when you're in the shower and you're trying to squeeze it, keep in mind the product is so thick. It's hard to kind of squeeze out of the bottle already on its own when it's dry. But to do it when it's when the bottle's wet because you're in the shower or in the bathtub, it's almost impossible to get a good grip on the the tube or on the um, bottle and squeeze out the product. So I've had to fight with this thing. I still have a pretty fair amount of product in here. I've tried only using it now because I want to get rid of it um, after I've washed my hair already like the day before because it does do okay. It still doesn't look great, but it does do okay. Um, I've moved on and I've just stuck with what I know and for a while now I've been using for a couple of years now I've been using Aussie Volume Shampoo, Volumizing Shampoo, and I like it. Um, I don't think it adds body to my hair, which is kind of like, well that sucks, but um, it does clean my hair, it makes my hair shiny, it smells good, and I mean, you know, in, in the end that's all I want for my hair. I kind of want it to smell good and I want it to be shiny, because those are the trademarks of healthy hair. Maybe not smelling good, you know, nobody's going to be like, run, you know, walking by you sniffing your hair. Oh, if your hair doesn't smell like anything, that means your hair isn't, you know, healthy. That doesn't make any sense. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I'm just babbling. But, um... Anyway, so I like that shampoo. That's what I've kind of reverted back to because I know I loved it before I started using this. And um, I'm not really going to be branching out into any new shampoos for a little while. I did buy a bottle of Pantene Pro-V's Botifying Shampoo that's supposed to like add protein to your hair so it makes your hair thicker. Um, I might do another review of that. I might do a review of that shampoo um, and tell you my thoughts on that one. That one, I don't feel quite as strongly about that one as I do as this one. So, the bottle sucked on this one, and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, which is wash your hair, period. That's the basic element of this shampoo, right? Of shampoo, period. So, if I had to give it a rate from 1 to 5, 5 being the best, 1 being the worst, I would give this a negative 1. Um, <laughs> as terrible as that sounds. Like I said, it's great that it's, you know, you know, vegan friendly and, you know, all that stuff that for those of you who need, you know, who, I guess, prescri you know, live by that. But, um, for those of us who don't, it's not great. And yes, it does add body, but it doesn't wash your hair. So that doesn't really make any sense to me. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm just really dumbfounded by this. I'm, I'm just, I'm incredibly, incredibly, still kind of reeling from from my experience with this. But um, I hope that helped you. I hope that gave you an idea of what I thought about it. Because I have, like I said, I haven't heard very many people using this, um, and now I know why because it's crap. So. Anyway, I'm sorry. I know I've been pumping out some negative reviews lately, but I feel strongly about some of this stuff, and I felt like I needed to be honest with you guys and at least tell you what I liked and what I don't like, because they kind of go hand in hand, what you should try and what you should steer clear of. Um, don't bother wasting your money on products that are crap, and I think that's kind of important, and a lot of other people should, you know... As much as you don't want to say bad things about products, and everybody is different, everybody's hair is different, everybody's skin is different, everybody's experiences are different, um, and in the end, you really have to try things out for yourself to see if they work for you, because maybe this didn't work for me, but it might work for you, I don't know. But um, in the end, all I can do is give you my opinion and tell you what I experienced, and I, I want to be honest and tell you the things that I didn't like as well as the things that I do like. So... Um, anyway, so sorry that was like a long little ramble, but like I said, this was basically stupid, and it was a waste of my money, it was a waste of my time, and I will never ever use it ever again, um, and that's the end of that, so sorry, bye, thank you for watching.